Hey, Mike, do us a favor. Rub some of that sunscreen on my back, would you? Uh, how about I squirt it on the ground, then you roll around the <laughs> Oh, I like it. Oh, so it's more important to appear heterosexual than it is to save your best friend from skin cancer. And you quit. <laughs> you pushed me first. Boys, 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 boys. Seth, all right, if you're not going to be cool, I'm going to have to leave. My street cred's already shaky after I showed up on Antiques Roadshow. Gladys, <laughs> please, sit down. Oh, hey. What the hell is that? Oh, it's my bathing costume. Well, be careful, there are squirrels around. <laughs> yeah, I can see your penis. All right, this is not going to work. <laughs> Be careful on my mom's blanket. Yeah, you want to be careful. You want child to get grounded again, huh? Real funny. Seriously, she's not gonna let me hang out with you guys if you keep acting all careless. <laughs> hey, Mike, who's that brunette? You, well, we know her. She's from our building. Midnight laundry girl. Oh, uh, Jennifer? It's kind of hard to tell since she's not folding her panties in slow motion. <laughs> hey, Jennifer! Hey, Mike, right? What are you doing out, out, out of the laundry room? I'll take it from here, Mike. Hi, I'm Ewan. You're cute. Have a seat. Thanks. I can use a break. Do you fancy a drink? Thanks. Have you met Chow? <laughs> hey, guys. Hope you're hungry. Oh, Liz. Uh, Jennifer, uh, this is uh, my friend Liz. Friend? Well, yeah. No, no. You and I are friends. We have a great friendship. In fact, what you and I do as friends, I think I'm going to start doing with all my friends. Okay, buddy? Oh. oh. Well, see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Oh, she seems friendly. Ooh, but not as friendly as those handsome college boys. Well, they... Dude, you called Liz your friend. Yeah, I, I caught that, thanks. They say I gotta be a man. I'm halfway there, halfway there. They say I'm having too much fun. But I don't care, I don't care. This is the time. It's going fast. How much is too much? Or not enough? There's so much stuff. I don't know. I wish that I could freeze time, but I don't have a time freeze machine. No. So, uh, what are you cooking? Ah, uh, making dinner for me and Liz to celebrate our seven month anniversary. Ah, uh, you mean you're kissing her ass after that little blunder in the park? <laughs> Just so happens they both fall on the same day. <laughs> yes, well, while you're licking boot. I shall be feasting with and on Heather Madigan. Heather Madigan from Oxford? She was always with that one bloke who she ended up marrying. But now it appears she suffered a terrible divorce. That's a beautiful story. I hope there are children involved. <laughs> She's in town for the weekend on business, and she said she had time to squeeze me in. Her words. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna go for some drinks, maybe a little dinner, some dancing, and, uh, then maybe some more drinks. And some more scratching. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I do have a devil of an itch down there, you know. Oh, my God, is that...? I've got crotch pheasants! <laughs> what? Crabs, Mike, I have crabs! Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, it just reminded me of this guy that I know who's you and he has crabs. <laughs> How could this happen? I've never caught anything in my life. One of the four women I slept with last week must be a total slut. <laughs> Would you stop enjoying this so much, Mike? So, so what, are you gonna get rid of it with uh, chemicals or are you gonna tie a praying mantis to a string and let him graze? <laughs> Why does this have to happen the one weekend Heather's in town? I hope they don't kick us out of the building. Why would they do that? There's a very strict no pet policy here. <laughs> wow, this, this feels really good. I wish more bad stuff would happen to you. <laughs> Your 
Your attention, please. The crabs have left the building. They have not left the building. They switched apartments, you bastard. <laughs> what? I got him now! <laughs> oh, so you don't like it when the circus comes to your town, do you? No, no, you're not allowed to joke, man. This, this is your fault. I probably got it from using one of your towels. You had sex with one of my towels. <laughs> it's not funny. No, no, it's OK. I, I bought some medicated shampoo. You'll like it. It comes with the cutest little comb. <laughs> I don't have any time, man. Liz is going to be here any minute. Well, just tell Liz the truth. No, I can't just tell her. Not after what happened with Midnight Laundry Girl in the park, she'll think something's going on. Well, you know, there is one quick way to get rid of them for sure, but uh, it's a little bit perilous. Could always trim the beard off Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Shave? Do you have any idea how long I waited to get hair down there? <laughs> I was the last one in my class. Well, there was me and then Teddy Beecham. And he always thought that made us friends. <laughs> oh, damn it, Ewan, how could you do this to me? I'm sorry, Mike. The last thing I want to do is jeopardize things for you and Liz. You really shouldn't have to pay for my behavior. I'm really sorry, mate. You know what you are? You're a big, fat slut. <laughs> Slut's a very harsh word, Mike. I prefer to think of myself as focused. <laughs> oh, and another thing. You're not very good at accepting an apology. Hey, you. Hey, Liz. How are you? Come in. Oh, you're in for a good night. He's really frisky. <laughs> Say, I love your dress. Although, I have to admit, I was rather hoping you'd turn up in your schoolgirl uniform. <laughs> I'm afraid it wouldn't fit anymore. But if you'd like, I could um, put in my retainer. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> well, I just wish you were staying for longer than a weekend. Well, don't make plans for Monday. You're gonna need time to recover. Double yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, um, your back is so sexy. Uh, I'm a back man. Why don't you turn around? Give me a look at those magnificent blades. All right. Uh, uh, Do you like? Oh, uh, incredible. Good evening. <clears throat> Tonight we have a special appetizer, soft shell crab. Uh. I love crabs. Let's share them. Super! I'll get that started. Listen, uh, are you sure that tonight is the only night we can spend together? Don't worry. One night with me is worth a lifetime of memories. Oh. Uh, and, and just so we're clear, you're fabulous in bed, aren't you? You know, I've often thought of turning pro. <laughs> In a flash. Hmm. How much for the gum? Quarter. Quarter, right. And, uh, how much for the uh, the razors there? A dollar. A dollar. How much for you to stand outside and not let anyone in for the next five minutes? Twenty bucks. Done. You enjoy that lasagna? It was really good. I prefer it chewy. <laughs> Thanks. Let me uh. Let me take your plate. Thank you. <sighs> Look, Liz, I'm, I'm sorry about what happened in the park, about calling you my friend. I, I, I was a total idiot. Yes, you were. Why do you get so stupid around pretty girls? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate all you've done tonight. The, the candles, the chewy food, the beautiful flowers. Beautiful? Oh, yeah. I think they're beautiful, huh? Yeah. That sunflower's way tall. It's okay. No, it's, it's freakishly tall. I should clip it. Michael, come 
sit by me for a second. Sure, yeah, I could uh, take a load off. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, this is nice, yeah. I feel a little gassy, though. I just want to warn you. <laughs> hey, I heard there's something on TV tonight. <laughs> That's a turn off, forget it. No sex tonight. Listen, Mike, I have to ask you something. Okay. Do you have crabs? What? No, why? Because I do. You do? Oh, God, this is so embarrassing. I don't know how I got them, but I had to tell you, and ugh, I'm sorry. Tonight was so perfect, no, and I just... No, no, oh. Liz, Liz, it's okay. I got them, too. <laughs> You do? Yeah, yeah. I got it from using Ewan's towel, so you probably got it from me. Oh, you got crabs. That's great. <laughs> what a relief. Why did you lie? How's that? <laughs> when I asked you if you had them, you said no. You lied. Well, uh... Okay, friend, this attempt at making things up to me, not a raging success. Well, please, please don't leave. I'm not. I'm going to the bathroom to scratch. Well, take a sunflower, baby. <laughs> Did you miss me? Terribly. <laughs> You've hardly changed a bit since London. Still have that adorable boyish face. Yes, well... <laughs> It's not the only thing boyish about me. <laughs> Grapefruit juice and vodka. Oh, I believe that's for the lady. Yes. Oh. 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 oh, I am terribly sorry. No, sir. no, it's a, that's okay. It just, just burns like hell. <laughs> oh. Ewan, what's wrong? Oh, it's just the grapefruit juice is stinging the open cut on my genitals. <laughs> it, it's not what you think. I, I shaved myself in the bathroom. <laughs> You're right. It's not what I think. Oh, no, no, no. See, I, I'm not a weirdo. I have crabs. No, I, no I, I had crabs. I had crabs. And they were delicious. Now Liz has crabs. And it made the paper. <laughs> Shut up, man. Liz has your crabs. Well, now, hang on a second. Mike. If she has them, isn't it possible that she gave them to you and then you gave them to me? I take back my apology. <laughs> no, 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 you can't take it back. I never accepted it. But now you owe Liz an apology. Me? Look, I'll have you know, I've called all the girls I've been with and they're all crab-free. Oh, and none of them believed I was taking a survey. <laughs> well, you and you must have forgotten to call Midnight Laundry Girl because you gave them to her, too. I did not. I saw her last night on the elevator scratching her crotch like it was a lottery ticket. <laughs> Well, hang on a second, Mike. I've never slept with that girl. Ewan, come on. Take some responsibility here. No, I'm fed up of taking the blame for this when it's all too possible that you and Liz started this crab festival. And thanks to you, I had to shave my privates in the middle of an otherwise lovely dinner. <laughs> At the table? No, I was squatting over the sink in the men's room. Not an animal. Hey, do either of you happen to know Midnight Laundry Girl's real name? It's Jennifer, why? Oh, well, she left these panties in the laundry room and I just wanted to return them. Panties, eh? And what exactly have you been doing with them? Nothing. Don't be disgusting. <laughs> Put away that stupid chart. There's nothing you can say that'll convince me that you are not the source of this problem. Look, hang on, Mike. Just bear with me. This is fairly simple. Now, you remember the day that you crushed Liz by introducing her to Midnight Laundry Girl as your friend? Vividly. Yes, well, <laughs> that careless remark hurt Liz. So much so that she decided to confront Midnight Laundry Girl to find out if anything was indeed going on between you two. After discovering it wasn't, Liz broke down, emotionally exhausted. Midnight Laundry Girl then turned and comforted Liz, blotting her tears and stroking her soft, beautiful hair. <laughs> then, without warning, Liz's dormant bisexual nature awoke 
And with a frenzy, she ravaged Midnight Laundry Girl over and over again. <laughs> In the process, Liz picked up Midnight Laundry Girl's panty pirates, passed them on to you, which you then, in turn, gave to me. Even with that English accent, that sounded really stupid. <laughs> How long do I have to leave this shampoo in? <laughs> what up, dogs? <laughs> What's up, Santa? <laughs> Ciao. You've got some visitors down south. It shows, huh? Yeah, some, uh, some female gave chow to crabs. It's the price of being a player. Where'd you get them from? Oh, uh, some girl. You don't know her, but she's, uh, she's very hot. Very dirty. Where'd you get the crabs, chow? What? Uh, she's not from around here. She, she, uh, she hails from Canada. <laughs> Look, we, we all got him, and your girl could be this missing link, so just give us a name. Okay, there was no girl. I made her up. <laughs> I haven't been with anyone in six months. Do you know how humiliating it is to get an STD without having the S? <laughs> <laughs> you must feel really stupid. <laughs> I don't need this. I just came by to grab my mom's blanket. Oh, wait, wait, Chow, is that, is that that blanket from the park? Yeah, mom's all up in my business about not bringing it back. <laughs> guys, guys, no, no, the blanket. That's where we got the crabs. What? Wait, 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 follow along with me. Remember that day in the park? We all sat on the blanket. I didn't. Yeah, status, but Midnight Laundry Girl did. Oh, yeah, that's right. Can I wash this off now? <laughs> Give it five more minutes. Wow. So, hundreds of the little buggers were just hanging out, waiting for their next meal. And we were it. <laughs> and so that's why I had to shave myself in the middle of our date. You shaved your groin just so you could be with me. You and me. So romantic. <laughs> You see, honey, it was, it was the blanket the whole time. Come here, you. <laughs> Liz, Liz. We, I thought you'd be relieved, you know, that I didn't cheat on you. Oh, you still have no clue why I'm upset at you. Just because I overcooked the lasagna? <laughs> Mike, I, I don't think that Liz wants to hear an explanation. I think she wants what's behind the explanation. What's in your heart? Ewan, could you do something with this? <laughs> She's right, Mike. She's right? Oh, all right. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry I lied about the crabs. I just thought that you'd think I was cheating on you. Oh, Mike. Goodbye, Mike. <laughs> help, help me, help me. Right, all right. Why did you think that she would automatically assume you were cheating on her? Uh, I guess if I were in her shoes, I would have jumped to that same conclusion. All right. So you were projecting your own fear and mistrust onto Liz, which is why you thought it was necessary to lie. I should be going out with you. Dormant bisexual nature. <laughs> Liz, that's exactly what I did, okay? And I'm sorry. I should have had faith that you'd handle the truth better than I would. And? And the next time I get a venereal disease, you are the first to know. <laughs> You had me at venereal disease. <laughs> Mike, I think you owe your friend Ewan an apology as well. Yeah, Heather, no one likes to know it all, Heather. <laughs> I'm sorry I called you a slut. You're a good guy and I was wrong. And? And nothing. Shut up. <laughs> okay, apology accepted. You know, um, Liz, we never really uh, officially celebrated our anniversary together, and uh, all my visitors are gone. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. So are mine. What do you say we... Yeah, I'll race you to the bedroom. <laughs> well, that was 
was very, very big of you, Liz. Yeah, I have to say, you're a very forgiving person. Actually, I'm a very giving person. I've still got them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm John Cho. You probably know me as the beloved scamp Chow. <laughs> I may be a fun-loving ne'er-do-well on Off Center, but in real life, I'm just a young guy facing the same challenges as all of you. That's right, John. <laughs> I'm Jason George, and one of the most serious challenges is the plague, commonly known as crabs. <laughs> For instance, in the country known as France, on the continent of Europe, crabs are the number one cause of death for males under the age of 30. That's right, Jason. So remember, if you're gonna have sex, be safe. That's right, John. Or even better, don't have sex at all. You'll be glad you didn't. That's right, John. I know it's right!